Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and actually solve this appraisal now so you have an idea of what the solutions are. So for the first part, we want to describe the motion of the object. So here's what we're going to say. The object moves backwards at constant speed. It neither speeds up nor slows down. Remember, this downward slope doesn't mean slowing down at all. It means moving backwards, and we need to be really careful of that. So now when we write the equation of motion, this is a little bit of a trick because we actually need to do part C first, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So part C, we need to get the slope, and that's how we get the speed. So remember, v naught, the speed is the slope. And I'm going to use this point here, so I have, um, this is point number two, and this is point number one here. And I'm going to use these two points to get the rise over the run. So that's going to be 8 minus 23 over 30 minus 0. Because this is 30, 8, and 0, 23. And when I go ahead and get this answer, I'm going to actually get v naught is negative 0 0.5 meters per second. I want those units on there from now on. Now, the initial position where it starts is at 23. So um, actually, I can go ahead and do part D next. So actually, x naught is 23 meters. And I know that from looking at the graph. So when I want to write down the equation of motion, um, again, the old way of writing this would be y equals mx plus b. And that would be y equals negative 0.5x plus 23. But we don't write it that way anymore. We're in physics class, so we need x as the position equals negative 0.5t plus 23 meters as our starting point. Finally, where will the object be at 40 seconds? We're going to actually end up getting x is negative 0.5 times 40 because I'm plugging it into this formula right here. So I use this for part e plus 23, and that's how I'm getting x at the end will end up being 3 meters at 40 seconds. So basically, if you get this, for example, wrong, you're going to get a 1 on this and that. And then if you get like all of these wrongs, that's how you get zeros on the CVPM standards for reading and for calculating, just to give you an idea. In the second video, or in the third video, I'll go ahead and take a look at the backside.